A brand is also about visual style and moral promise. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about visual style. What does that mean? Sarah Petty told me a long time ago in one of her videos, gosh, years ago, and it stuck with me since then, you cannot build a strong brand on a weak identity. If you don't know who you are, forget about it. Your visual style, your visual brand components are your photography style and your collateral identity. Collateral meaning your marketing pieces, et cetera, et cetera. Your photography style tends to be very deeply ingrained into who you are. There's a part of you that goes into your work, right? Wouldn't you say that? So ask yourself what your style is. What do you love to shoot? How do you love to shoot it? And why do you love to shoot it? What, how, and why? These elements are the components of your visual photographic style. Not all of it, but answer those questions really well and you're well on your way to developing a strong photographic style. Now, how to do this, ask yourself, take, a, take images that you love, really strong images that just sing, make your heart sing that you've taken, that you've photographed, and ask yourself three adjectives to describe them. But hold on. I want those adjectives to be three visual adjectives and three emotional adjectives. For example, this is mine, okay? I am neutral, designed, and shallow depth of field. That's me describing my work physically. Calm, touching, meaning touching the emotions, and organic feeling. Organic could probably go physical as well. But do you see how I've defined a photographic style by six adjectives? It's not, it's, 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 it's ethereal. It's not a solid, like, yes, this is my style. I know immediately when I see the words that that's the image. No. But if you see the image and put the words next to it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can feel that. So helping you define your photographic style in these words will help you not only develop a brand, but it will help you stay true to your photographic style. You know, everybody wants to experience. I'm a huge advocate of Picasso's quote, you know, good artist copy, great artist steal. You got to copy initially. You got to copy because you got to learn the techniques. You got to figure out how they did it. Then once you do that, you learn the technique and then you start stealing stuff. When I say steal, what does steal mean? Steal means to take as your own. That means Stealing components. Oh, I like what she did there. I'm going to use that technique in my own thing, but I can make it better. I can make it better. That's stealing. When you grow upon, and think about the great artists of the world, all the Impressionists, Monet, Manet, Renoir, they used to like get together and paint together. And they totally steal each other's ideas all the time. Ooh, I'm going to make that better. That's how artists grow and lift themselves up. That's why companies like this, Creative Live, where we're all you know, here at Photo Week, getting together and learning stuff, we start stealing from one another. It's a beautiful thing, OK? I think that's wonderful. Once you start stealing and making it your own, then you start to feel your style. And you go, ooh, yeah, that's me. And then you guys look at something, then it's just a matter of finding out what's worth stealing. Oh, I, it's, no, I don't really like that. It's not me. OK, you see a prop, you see a look, you see a lighting technique, you see a color. You're like, oh, yeah, I like that, but uh, it's, it's, not my, it's not my game, OK? You just have to figure out what's worth stealing. That's the whole point of art. 